Alrighty guys, so what I wanted to go through today was where this project is at, which is totally unchanged for the last nine months until a couple of days ago, when I decided that, you know what, a little bit of progress needs to be made. So what I did was that whole kind of entity component system that I had created, although it worked pretty well, I like the idea of it. It did start becoming a little bit messy in terms of how the code was set up and also very inefficient and slow in the way I was doing it. I'm sure there are ways that are much better to do something like that, um, but the way that I was doing it wasn't really helping the situation. What I mean by that was by looking up the ID on those various tables, you had a situation where you were now looking across many tables, like doing loads of searches for just one element for a particular module or you know system. You had to do a bunch of gets or a bunch of fetches from all these various tables to get all the stuff about that entity in one place in order to do calculations. Which is fine if you're doing that once or twice, but I mean, now you're doing it literally for every single entity and there's not necessarily any simple way of grouping up those components. You could say, oh, okay, I want to group up all my components for kind of rendering stuff. But the issue there is a few of those pieces of the components for rendering also are required for your physical system or your physics system. So what you have is a situation where now, okay, so your render is pulling in physical information as well as purely render information, like what image to use, what texture to use for a particular uh, model. And the whole thing just becomes a little bit ridiculous at that point, because if you try to slice up your components too much, you have the situation where you're doing a bunch of checks for those components. And if you don't slice them up enough, you might as well just have your entities have everything in the menu uh, from the get-go and just use a normal massive entity class, which is actually the approach I've just decided to go with, which is maybe slightly ridiculous, but it just feels easier to use for now. And if I need something more complicated going forward, maybe I'll move to that rather than try be super over architecting this relatively simple code base with something like an entity component system and then realizing down the road that it's you know doesn't work anyway or whatever it is and then i have to re-engineer everything that's kind of what i just had to do now and i'm happy to go to something more complicated going down in the future if needs be but for now i think it's best to kind of lay lay low and just go with kind of the easier approach uh, kind of easier in a way and, and maybe more complicated in other ways okay so what are the things that I want to add into this that I can think of off the top of my head now there are a few elements clearly just looking at the visuals that need to be fixed up but I don't want to go too far into the visuals because we actually need kind of like a game here <laughs> and at the moment it's kind of just a tech demo and not a very good one so in terms of game ideas i have quite a few pretty cool ideas that i think could be quite different from a gameplay perspective compared to other games that are out there at the moment it would have a good combination of both the impressive kind of world scale that a space game flying game would have but also strategic elements that an an RTS game, a strategy game would have. There have been games in the past that have tried to merge those two elements together and it hasn't actually been done for quite a while as far as I can tell. So I'm going to try something like that. It sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, it could be quite fun. But yeah, there's still quite a little bit of work for me to think of through the idea before I can start implementing it. Clearly, it's going to be quite a complicated project. I think what I want to do first is get the game working in as basic a form as possible, but using the concepts that I'm kind of thinking through. If that works, then I can start working on making the graphics really pretty and um, actually add, you know, maybe more complex features into the gameplay 
all that kind of stuff. That being said, there are a few graphics things I wanna fix up sooner rather than later and some very basic gameplay code that I wanna fix up sooner rather than later before I even touch any of the other concepts. First one is shadow mapping, just to give a little bit more feel for kind of depth when moving around in the world so that it doesn't feel quite cardboardy. The other thing I wanna do is sort out very simple collision detection because that would give a little bit more of a feel that the world actually exists rather than just being able to kind of jump through everything very easily. We can build on that collision detection going forward, but that's certainly something I want to kind of start off with and uh, see how it all goes. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, and as I mentioned, if you'd like to see anything in particular in these videos, give me a shout. I'm going to try go back to a bit of a regular schedule and uploading videos. I haven't really been spending much time on this channel for quite a while. And getting back into some of that ray tracing stuff in Excel, I've actually been doing a bunch of other stuff there as well. So uh, keep, keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, it definitely gave me the impetus to kind of start thinking about doing a little bit more here and uh, getting a little bit more involved. So yeah, looking forward to the next one. Thanks guys.